On Coburn Sound, south of Perth, we are chasing an iconic Aussie fish, the pink snapper. Pinks are one of the important commercial and recreational catches in WA, but their popularity could threaten their future. So this trip isn't about taking fish, it's about tagging them. And this is no ordinary tag. It's an acoustic tag that will track the movements of snapper in the sound for the next three years. The tags themselves uh, send out a signal and uh, in the water we have a whole array of receivers and they detect the tag when the fish swims past and they can pick up the tag at three, four, five hundred metres. There's quite a good chance of, of detecting the fish. Well, we're not having any luck landing them today. But each month during spawning season, Dr. David Fairclough and his fisheries team tag small numbers of snapper in the sound. The fish is anaesthetized and the acoustic tag is sewn into its belly. Then the snapper is fully revived and released. Every tag has its own special code, so scientists can track individual fish. The aim is to find out how many fish live in the sound and how many just come here to spawn, because snapper stocks are suffering. And the species itself, it can reach up to 40 years of age, but the majority of the fish on the west coast are less than 10 years of age. So it's a real indication that, uh, that there's a problem with their stocks. Acoustic tagging isn't the only way to make the snapper surrender its secrets. This is an otolith, an ear bone found in all fish species. These rings can tell us the age of a fish, like rings on a tree. But that's not all. The otolith can also give us a record of the environment the fish has occupied because it shows up any changes in the chemical signatures of the different water bodies. And in this way we can track the life of the fish to a certain extent. With industry hugging its shoreline, Coburn Sound has its own chemical signature. So the otolith can show when the snapper stayed in the sound and when it moved away. If we find that, say, Co uh, the pink snapper and Coburn Sound actually stay in there most of the time, or a majority of them stay in there, then we may have to uh, look at other ways to protect those large spawning fish that occur in there. Fisheries have already introduced license restrictions for commercial fish shows in the sound and seasonal closures for recreational anglers. The ultimate goal is to reduce previous snapper catches by half, to give stocks a chance to recover and to help save this iconic species. The fish that occur in Coburn Sound are some of the largest and older fish in the stocks. So they're very important, they produce a lot of young. Um, and they contribute widely to the stocks up and down the west coast. So um, they're very important for us to manage very 